Information and Media Minister Chushika Sanda says ZNBC requires quality content to effectively compete in the digital space. Ms. Kassanda says content is key for any television station to attract viewers. Speaking during a handover of three programs from the Japanese government, Ms. Kassanda said that the content received will enhance ZNBC TV programming. Ms. Kassanda said Japan has supported Zambia's uh, media development since the construction of the mass media complex which houses ZNBC, ZANIS and the Independent Broadcasting Authority. And Japanese ambassador to Zambia, Ruta Mizuchi, said Zambia and Japan have collaborated over the years in the promotion of the cultures of both countries. Meanwhile, ZNBC Director General Malolela Lusambo said government has provided an enabling environment for public media to engage various stakeholders to improve content. By exposing the Zambian television audience to the culture and lifestyle of the Japanese people, ZNBC is helping individuals to have a deep understanding of themselves and those around them in aiming for higher heights in life. The programs are also significant in enriching the ZNBC television content. As you are aware, ladies and gentlemen, quality content is key to withstand competition in the television industry following the digital migration which has resulted in more players in the broadcasting sector. Japan has and continues to assist Zambia in developing the media industry. Its support includes construction of the mass media complex, which houses ZNBC, ZANIS, and the Independent Broadcasting Authority, IBA. The features that are highlighted are all things that I personally wish to bring closer to the Zambian people myself, because they do not only represent Japanese culture and Japanese way of life per se, but also provide insights and inspirations over what Zambia also can do to attain its sustainable development goals. It is all, all about the values created by human activities that are needed to upgrade the standard of living. It is as a result of the Japanese government through JICA, the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, that we initiated over 15 years ago uh, by having to install equipment that was meant to undertake conversion of the analog audio content into digital. And so as we speak since then, that equipment has continued to serve the purpose for which it was installed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.